Supermassive black holes at the centers of large galaxies are, by definition, some of the darkest objects in the universe. But paradoxically, they power some of the brightest lights, letting astronomers find some of the most distant galaxies. As matter is drawn in toward the event horizon of the black hole, it flattens to form what's called an accretion disk. The material spins up, heats up, breaks up, and lights up. It radiates throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, usually peaking in the ultraviolet range, but photons can be spun up all the way to X-ray wavelengths. In 2013, however, astronomers became aware that one of these super bright lights had seemingly gone out. This galaxy is an old friend, named NGC 5548, one of the best known active galaxies. Observations with six different space-based telescopes, including the Hubble, suggest that the light-stealing culprit is a rapidly moving stream of curdled gas, hiding NGC 5548's core. As our view shifts in and out of the line of sight between the galaxy and Earth, we can get a sense of the volume and shape of this gas. It appears to have two separate lobes. You can think of it as a stiff wind blowing out of the active galactic nucleus, obscuring its own source from our view. This model is shedding new light on active galaxies, and specifically on the most energetic ones, the quasars, objects that used to be known as quasi-stellar radio sources when they were first seen by astronomers in the 1960s. After half a century of work, Astrophysicists have a pretty good idea how these incredibly luminous beacons get started. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. And if you have a question about this, tweet me at David Sky Brody.